Oh, and welcome back to another video. It's been a while uh, since I've been at a game to do a vlog for you all. Uh, it's been since the Blackpool, I think, which was, what, the 11th of March, I believe? So it's been, yeah, three weeks today uh, since we've done a vlog. Two weeks since I've done, uh, like, a proper video. I also did that one on Alex Scott. If you haven't seen it, go check it out. It'll be linked up there. And I'm also releasing a documentary on the 3rd of May 2023 around Bristol City's double-winning 2014-2015 campaign. You can find the trailer on the... Uh, on my page as well, on various social platforms as well, if you don't follow those linked in the description. But today, City face Reading, who are currently 18th in the table, I think they're 9 points ahead of the relegation zone, just 3 points behind us. Uh, and obviously we haven't played, because it's been the international play, so we haven't played since Swansea, which I think ended at 2-0. I didn't go, so I don't really, I don't know how well we played, from the sounds of it we weren't great. Um, Alex Scott's injured as well. So that's good. Uh, but Conway, Naismith and James, I believe, are all back in contention to start for today, which is nice for us because obviously with Scott being out, Omar Taylor-Clark and Andy King kind of become our our options in midfield. And we could do with someone better than that pairing, i got to be honest. I, like, I rate Taylor-Clark, I'm a big fan. Andy King, he's past it, let's be honest. He's, he's here more as a coach than a player now. He kind of just has to step in when he can, or when he's needed rather. But yeah, fingers crossed for a win today. Obviously, we won last time. We're unbeaten at Ashton Gate in a long since Boxing Day. Still, we other than obviously uh, against Man City, but in the league run, but we're unbeaten at Ashton Gate since Boxing Day. So hopefully that can continue today. I'm gonna go for a two 0 City win. I'm confident. I reckon Mometi's getting his first goal for the club today. Fingers crossed. He's been away with Albania uh, for the last couple of weeks. Sykes has been away with Ireland. I think Wyman was in the Austria squad. Obviously, Alex Scott got injured playing for France against Eng uh, sorry for England under 20s against France at the uh, King Power Stadium. I think it was. But yeah, fingers crossed for a win. Let's get down to Wetherspoons. Let's meet Gabe and fingers crossed City pick up all three points. Come on, the boys. Oh, <laughs> 
There we have it, a one-all draw for City in the end against Reading. I mean, it was alright, I suppose. Nice to see Conway score, obviously, on his return from injury, but a real sort of lack of cutting edge from both sides, really. They had a couple of chances that they probably could have won it with or, or, sc or scored earlier on. Uh, Andy King hit the post in the last minute. Mometi was alright, but, I mean, he, he kept sort of... He was brilliant taking on players, but then there's no real end product with him at the moment, which is frustrating me a bit. Because you can tell he's amazing. You can tell, he, like, if we can just unlock that finish in touch with him then he could be really really special for us but unfortunately we haven't unlocked that yet so we'll wait and see on that one but fingers crossed we can uh, we can get back to winning ways against Stoke on Good Friday I won't be there um, but so the next vlog will be out on Easter Monday against Middlesbrough which is a 5.30 kickoff which I'm not a fan of but oh well and uh, and yeah it was a decent performance like I said nice to see Conway score I think Luca Zhao scored the equaliser for for, uh, for Reading but yeah all in all two sort of lower mid-table championship sides off against each other it wasn't really ever going to be the best of games, was it? But I'll see you in the next one. I'll see you next Monday. Make sure you like, subs like share and subscribe. And I'll see you in a bit. Cheers.